I like to look at the evidence for the resurrection in four categories. The first one is, did Jesus die on the cross? Was he dead? Virtually every scholar on planet Earth concedes that Jesus was dead after crucifixion. We have no record of anyone anywhere ever surviving a full Roman crucifixion. Uh, even the Journal of the American Medical Association uh, published a peer-reviewed scientific medical study of the evidence for the death of Jesus and said clearly the weight of the evidence indicates that Jesus was dead even before the wound to his side was inflicted. Even the atheist New Testament scholar Gerd Ludemann says historically it's indisputable that Jesus was dead. So Jesus was dead. Okay, so we heard um, we heard uh, Lee Strobel. We heard Lee Strobel uh, saying that uh, about the crucifixion. And uh, my personal view is that Jesus actually survived uh, his crucifixion. So uh, one second here. All right, sorry, my mic was kind of down. So yeah, we have one record, Josephus saying that Jesus survived, or uh, Josephus himself witnessed three crucified people taken down, one survived. Uh, the reference is right there. So people did sometimes survive Roman crucifixion. So we have at least one record of someone being crucified and ta being taken down alive. So, uh, you know, this claim that we have no record of anybody surviving Roman crucifixion is false. Uh, Jesus, we are told, was taken down the same day he was put up without breaking his legs, unlike the others crucified with him. John chapter uh, 19, verse 32. Uh, nor does any other gospel mention his legs being broken. Uh, death by crucifixion typically, typically took days, and breaking the legs is based on this passage taken as a possible means of hastening death by perhaps cutting off the airway under the weight of the crucified person's own body. Thus, the possibility of his survival remains. I personally believe Jesus survived the crucifixion because, as even Raymond Brown says, Raymond Brown in his book, uh, Death of the Messiah, no, crucifixion pierced no vital organ. So, uh, you know, according to this book, uh, Raymond Brown's book, uh, he says that crucifixion that nothing killed Jesus while he was on the cross. Uh, Mark chapter 15, verse 44. Uh, Mark chapter 15, verse 44. Pontius Pilate knew that Jesus wasn't really dead and expressed his amazement that he was declared dead because Pontius Pilate knew by experience that death by crucifixion took typically took days, not hours. And we know that Jesus was only on the cross for about six hours. If you read the Gospel of Mark and if you read the Gospel of Matthew, uh, you know, if you do some calculations, um, Jesus was only on the cross for six hours. But we know in order to die on the cross, someone needs to be crucified and left on the cross for at least three or four days to be dead on the cross. But Jesus was only on the cross for six hours. That means Jesus was alive through the process, even given atheistic views. Um, the reason why these atheists or the American Medical Association says Jesus died on the cross uh, is because they don't believe in God or the supernatural. They don't believe that God could have kept Jesus alive through the ordeal because they don't believe in God and miracles to begin with. So, of course, these atheists uh, are going to say that Jesus died on the cross. They don't believe in miracles of surviving crucifixion. Anyways, they don't believe in God. They don't believe in... Uh, God doing miracles to the prophets. They don't believe in Allah. They don't believe in the miracles of the Quran or the miracles of the Bible. So, given their naturalistic uh, views, of course, you know, if a man is crucified, they're going to say he died because they're atheists. They don't believe in miracles or the supernatural. They don't believe that God could kept, could can keep someone alive through the crucifixion because they don't believe in miracles in uh, supernatural to begin with. So the conclusion here is that there is no direct evidence that Jesus died on the cross. And we have at least one record of someone surviving Roman crucifixion. The atheistic claim that Jesus died on the cross is not based on what the New Testament verses say, and it's based on their anti-supernatural and anti-theological views. So Jesus 